What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Patrick again from WP Builder Helper and today we're going to talk about an article that's coming out on my website called um, A Guide to Brizzy Cloud and this is something that Brizzy has uh, recently put out. It's probably been a couple months so I'm probably late to the game but I wanted to go over it and kind of take you on a little run. Um, if you're brand new to the channel and you've never been here, we do WordPress content, we uh, talk about page builders, we talk about all that. So if you're interested in that, uh, click down below, click su subscribe, get on our list and uh, start getting content about all of these different things that you're interested in. Anything that's basically WordPress news, we're going to cover. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So we're inside of Brizzy Cloud and we're taking a look at this. Um, so some of you may be wondering what Brizzy Cloud exactly is. Um, it turns out it's a, it's a basically, it's like a pet project that they did where one of their developers had this idea for using their page builder and putting it out on the web and it's strictly on the web and it's it's available in a way where it doesn't use things like WordPress it doesn't use any of those features like none of that is going on with Brizzy Cloud it just doesn't have it what it uses instead is it uses just the Brizzy page builder which is pretty cool um, Brizzy Page Builder has come a long way. It's still not where I think it needs to be. I think in the next couple months we're going to see some of those changes. But it doesn't change the fact that this is incredibly unique to Brizzy and no other page builder on the market has done this because this is a standalone product. If WordPress were to fall off the map today, you could still use this product to create websites and web pages and things like that. So it's standalone. It almost works like, I guess you could say Webflow, but I've never really used Webflow, so that may be taken out of context. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it allows you to create a page. So let's look, let's kind of play around with this and go ahead and start a Brizzy Cloud page. And I'll take you to a brand new page. As you can see, I've been playing with it, just testing it to see what it can do. Um, and we'll edit a page and it'll take you through the Brizzy Builder that you're familiar with. If you've used this on WordPress or you've downloaded the free edition, you've probably seen all of this before. So it's not any different from anything you've seen before. It's basically all the same. But what we're going to do in here is we're going to load up a default template. I'm probably going to stop the video, load up a default template in here just so I can take you through some of the information and everything that of what it's doing and what it's powered by and why you're going to use it. All right, so I'll see you in a second. All right, we're back, and here we are inside of the Brizzy Page Builder, the Brizzy Cloud, and we're looking at a page that I had just loaded up. I actually just realized something super important that I didn't even realize. The Brizzy editor right now actually comes with the ability to add in headers and this is not yet there. This is using an older version of Brizzy. I didn't realize that because there's literally no header function on the side here. Um, most of Brizzy allows some kind of layout where you can add in a header. It doesn't even have the WordPress functionality where you can grab the menu to add in any kind of WordPress function that would let you have uh, menus or anything like that. So that's obviously probably something that they're going to work on, but my assumption is they want to get Brizzy completed first before they work on this, and I'm sure that that's the case. I have no doubt that that's the case. But <clears throat> So for right now, for anybody who's using this, this is this is going to have limited functionality because if you don't have menus then you really you can't use much um there's just and i'm sure there's there's hacks around that with links and things like that but for right now there's th this is going to have some limited functionality but essentially what this is is this is a tool that you can use for marketing this is a tool you can use for a landing page 
Um, that's what Brizzy Cloud is. It's not powered by WordPress at all, so there is no WordPress backend. When I click publish, this goes to Brizzy servers which I believe uses uh, Amazon. Uh, we'll check on that later when we actually go to the website and look at what they're offering with everything. But I'm pretty sure it's Amazon if I'm not mistaken. Um, this allows you the same thing that you have with Brizzy. You can do mobile, you can do tablet, you can do all of those different things and kind of change it up, see the way it looks. The difference is you just don't have plugins there are no plugins for this page so you're limited to the functionality that works with Brizzy same with your contact forms and everything else now the good thing is is because Brizzy is expanding their functionality there's a lot of things that they've added to this this I'm assuming doesn't have all of the same features as Brizzy currently as we had just talked about before the headers missing and a bunch of other things are missing from this that Brizzy's added but that's fine I have no doubt that they're gonna be added later in the future because they're gonna want to give value to this and they're gonna really want to prop this up because this is so unique um, one of probably the best things about this above everything else is the fact that and it's a well-known fact uh, when this came out a bunch of developers said oh that's that's really neat you know you have this and it creates your pages it doesn't require WordPress so it allows the you can send this to a client or you can send it somewhere else just so that they can get an idea of what the web page is going to look out look like if you're building with Brizzy but something else that's pretty unique and let me see if I can find it forgive me for not knowing but somewhere in here you have the ability after you've created a page you have the ability Ability to export that page as HTML so let's go back to Brizzy and see if once we go back to Brizzy cloud if it gives you that ability alright guys so here we are again I had to kinda go through and like look and play with things because obviously I should have done this before but it is what it is so learning experiences we're going through this video so in order for you to take and finally get to wherever you need to get to with the pages, with the, the part that I was talking about, you actually, so we have our page, we've updated it, it's already been updated, and then it gets pushed to this area, which is in the, the Brizzy Cloud admin, essentially. And once you get to this, you can kind of name the page, whatever you want, it gives you like a hyperlink that you can use. And then down here, is where you can actually go to preview but there's also a publish which is here and here is where you want to go to so with publishing it allows you a custom domain it allows you a subdomain server sync and export to HTML this is what I was actually talking about some clients that don't need any extended functionality through WordPress are going to be really excited over that because you can literally download the HTML and CSS files for your Brizzy documents. That's great. That's fantastic. For those people who just want a static HTML website, it's going to really help those people who are trying to put something out on the web, whether it be a landing page or just a static website. Um, and I'm sure that as this functionality grows, it's just going to get better, the, the fact that you can do this. This is really a great option. It's something that's unique to Brizzy, and nobody else has done that. The ability to export to, to HTML is just really, really unique. And it's not something that you find with most other builders. It's not something that I don't think you'll ever see, because they just can't do it. Um, I'm really not even quite sure how Brizzy does it, I guess because they're not using a bunch of JavaScript and things to run most of their stuff. Like, you would never see this with Divi. It just can't happen. Um, there's too much on the back end for it to happen. But Brizzy has found a way to do it, which is very, very unique. So, as we take you through here, this is all hosted through Amazon. Let's go take a look at the actual Brizzy cloud, um... Let's see if we can find it. I want here's what I wanted. I wanted the landing page. So we're gonna go through the landing page 
and I'm going to take you through the features that they actually show because there's some features on here. Um, so it uses Brizzy, we know that. It's going to have team members, which is really cool. You'll be able to collaborate with people or clients, which is going to be excellent. That's going to be something that a lot of people are going to be really, really into, uh, especially if you've already bought a license for Brizzy. And we'll talk about licensing at the end just so you can get an idea of cost. But that's going to be really useful for people who are doing uh, designs for clients. It's mobile ready, obviously, because it's using the Brizzy page builder, which is already mobile ready. You're going to have sub accounts, which is unique. You can kind of go in your Brizzy cloud and set sub accounts so that you don't, you can kind of organize things from here, which is very useful. <clears throat> Um, loading speed. Now I haven't tried the loading speed to see exactly what this is. I'm curious of these page speeds. Um, page builders don't usually get high loading speeds. I have no doubt that this is going to get a high loading speed. It's supposedly hosted by Amazon so I get the feeling that that's going to make a difference because um, obviously you're not using slow servers. But Still, the loading speed with this, I'd love to see an actual, and maybe I'll do a test on that, an actual fully blown page and see what the loading speeds are when you start dropping buttons and images and videos and everything else. I just want to see it because unlike WordPress, which is going to give you the ability to go in and add plugin functionality, which can speed up your website, this doesn't have that. You're limited to exactly what you have. There's not going to be any way to speed this up other than, say, maybe using something like Cloudflare or something like that that you can somehow uh, add into your domain and, it, and it go, it'll go in and do some catching. Um, other than that, you're really limited to what they offer. So I'm going to test this and I'll give you some more information, but I'm definitely interested in the, the page speed score and seeing exactly how good it actually works. Um, pre-made blocks so they obviously have all the blocks it's got pop-ups that's actually really cool that it's offering pop-ups too I'm interested to see how it's gonna work with the functionality of things like triggers um, but that's gonna be really cool that's that's a really cool um, unique feature also the fact that you can make this static HTML website and it can actually have pop-ups is really cool that's that's just really neat that they added that and then obviously down below it's showing some integrations that it's going to do. It's going to have MailChimp integration, send in blue. You know, everything that you would think of, all of these very popular mail services, it's going to have. It doesn't have them yet, but it's going to have them eventually, which is really neat. And then this is where I get interested in. So besides collaboration, we already know that you're going to be able to talk to your clients. It's going to have analytics and tracking built into the system that's really cool so rather than having to worry about something like Google Analytics or anything like that this will have analytics built in and it'll actually have funnels which you can see over here in the side also that those are two unique features that are gonna really push I think marketing as a whole because I see marketers using this a lot. I mean, if you're doing this for any kind of landing page conversion or anything like that, it's going to be fantastic because you're going to have analytics, you're going to have funnels. That's really awesome to some unique people. And I think it's going to be really awesome for web designers too. But this is something that I would highly keep track of and look in because analytics can be done right and it can be done wrong. I've got some programs that I have lifetime memberships to and the analytics absolutely suck on them. They are trash. There's no way to put it nicely. It's trash. It doesn't give you real analytics. So I'm really curious to see what they're going to do here and if they're going to make the analytics completely legit where you've got all the data that you need or if it's just going to show some very basic unique stats i want to i really want to dig into this more i'm looking forward for when this launches and seeing exactly what you can do and then obviously it mentions what we mentioned before you can use a custom domain so all that is is just your own website domain rather than some 
some other domain name if you want to be professional and everything like that. You can also pick a subdomain, which is nice. It's got server, uh, server sync using scripts to sync projects to our server in real time. Very useful and obviously the exporting to HTML. So down below, you'll see this is where we start getting into the pricing. Now, if you've already got the Brizzy Lifetime package, I believe they're giving you two years for free of Brizzy Cloud, which is just basically their way of like giving you a tiny bit of, uh, let's give you a, a taste just so that you can get stuck on this because this should definitely cost money. This is, this is so unique in everything that it comes with that it's just, it's, it's nuts. I'm a little bit disappointed by the fact that you that there's certain options that they remove, such as sub accounts and things like that. But I understand the use for it. They've got to create a tier plan. Almost everybody has a tier plan. You can use the forever plan if you want to use their their ugly URLs like this, where you're trying to see your URL and everything like that. I mean, some people are going to use it. It's not going to matter to them. They're not going to care. Other people might not use it. It's just going to depend on you and how and what you want to do and what your goal is for this. But there's a lot to be said of this. This isn't a bad price for what they're offering. Um, they're giving you unlimited landing pages, unlimited team members, unlimited leads, unlimited page views. I mean, it's essentially an unlimited website that you can take and you can build. The only downside is it's brizzy and Brizzy's great for what it is, but it is brand new. And so it's got some growing pains and it's got some things that it's got to get out the way first before I would take and I would fully back it as my only solution that I'm going to use for something. Um, there's a lot that it still leaves to be desired compared to something like Elementor. However, that being said, it is brand new and you really can't compare this to Elementor. It's not the same thing. Brizzy is a visual uh, page builder, and Elementor, Elementor is a visual page builder too, but the difference is that Brizzy is like strictly a visual, visual page builder. It's trying to get away from doing anything that requires you to do any kind of code or anything like that. They literally want to make everything visual, and that I think is great because they're making it much easier for those people who are not very good at CSS or HTML or any of that and just visually building their website. I think that this is fantastic. Uh, the price for it's awesome. Everything's it looks really good. We're gonna have to wait and see once they start adding functionality in for it but I still think that this is gonna be a great addition to the Brizzy package. Um, I would recommend that you keep watching this, you keep looking at this, seeing what they do to it, seeing what they add to it, because I believe that once they add some functionality into this, it's going to be very, very good from what it is today. Today, it's it's there, but it's more of a proof of concept. It's, it's less about um, trying to buy you over and get you subscribed and more about showing you what it can do. I think a majority of people who have this right now are probably Brizzy Lifetime members, although I'm sure that there's a bunch of people that probably have it that went out and bought it as soon as they saw it. But the integrations are what's going to be, what's going to make it what it is. Because once it has integrations and once you can do pop-ups and once you can do headers and once you can build multi-page sites and things like that, this becomes infinitely more useful than what it is. Um, right now, it's just basically a landing page builder. So hopefully in the future, this comes out with more functionality. And uh, if you're interested in more Brizzy content, we're going to be covering it on this channel. We're going to be going over the Brizzy page builder. I've already done a review on my website. Um, I'll link that down below in the description. But there's a bunch of other stuff that we want to go over in here, like how Brizzy compares to Elementor. What's some things that stand out from it? What's some things that stand out from it from Divi? All of those different things. We're going to be doing comparisons, verses, all of that. So if you're interested, join the channel today. I appreciate it.